chapter 4 quadratic equation part 6 we will see the eighth problem in exercise 4.3 eighth problem two water tanks together can fill a tank in 3 by 8 hours the larger tank takes 10 hours less than the smaller one to fill the tank separately find the tank in which each tap can separately fill the tank you have uh, two different tap one is a smaller uh, diameter tap another one is larger diameter tap okay. so here it is clearly given the larger tap takes 10 hours less than smaller one larger uh, diameter tap takes 10 hours less than the smaller one so accordingly you have to take the unknown here okay we have to find out the time so here uh, you take uh, let the time taken by the larger tab to fill the tank be x hours okay therefore time taken by the smaller tab to fill the tank be x plus 10 hours x plus 10 hours okay so larger tab if you take x means then uh, time taken by the smaller tab will be x plus 10 hours okay that is the difference because if you take uh, what uh, smaller tab x means the larger one will be x minus 10 just to reversely you take here time taken by the larger tab to fill the tank b x hours means time taken by the smaller tab to fill the tank b x plus 10 hours so portion of tank filled by the larger tank in one hour you have to find it see one hour means here uh, time taken by the larger tap to fill the tank be x hours same thing we are finding in one hour means 1 by x you have to what uh, divide by x 1 by x and the portion of tank filled by the smaller tap in one hour is equal to 1 by x plus 10 here x plus 10 for one hour means 1 by x plus 10 you have to make it but uh, both the taps together can fill the tank equal to 9 3 by 8 hours it is given so 9 3 by 8 hours this is a mixer fraction you change into fraction okay for this also you have to find out uh, what uh, one hour therefore portion of tank uh, filled by both the taps both the taps in one hour in one hour is equal to 1 by 75 by 8 1 by 75 by 8 you know, okay. 1 by 75 by 8 so portion of tank filled by both the taps in one hour so that means both the tap is these two you have to add both the tab means what these two okay that is the larger tab in one hour first right plus smaller tab in one hour you know right then total time that is in one hour you have to write that is 1 by 75 by 8 is 8 by 75 just to take reciprocal and write okay so this step is very very important how to correctly write up to here you write means half of the mark will get four more questions means two mark will get so very important problem this one repeated questions many time asked in the board exams now easy simple easily you can do simplification take lcm here there is no common denominator so take lcm means cross multiply do that's equal to 8 by 75. Now x plus x 2x. 2x plus 10. This one multiply means x square plus 10x is equal to 8 by 75. <coughs> here you see 2 is common here. In the numerator you see 2 you take common. If any common factor means you have to take 2 common. Eight by seventy-five. Now you see here this two and this eight you can cancel straight away. 
numerator numerator uh, two common factor so this two and the eight you can cancel it okay that is a uh, two one time will go the eight four time will go okay now you do cross multiplication do cross multiplication just to do cross multiplication x squared keep always uh, left hand side that is four into x squared plus 10x that's equal to 75 into 75 into x plus 5 now multiply 4x squared plus 40x is equal to 75x plus 75 into 5 5 into 5 25 carry 1 27 now everything bring this side therefore 4x squared plus 40x minus 75x minus 375 equal to 0 40x minus 75x is uh, minus 35x minus 375 equal to 0 ok now we have to factorize this one we have to factorize this one or you can use a uh, uh, quadratic formula also but best method is factorization method you see to this x squared coefficient 4 4 into minus 375 how much is minus 15,500 1,500 okay now this 1,500 you have to split it into two factors you have to split it into two factors The middle term, what is the middle 35 minus 35. How to split uh, into two factors? Uh, means you have to do and see that uh, factorization method. Do and see. 15, uh, 3 table, 500. Again, uh, 5 table, 100. Then 5 table, 20. Again, 5 table, 4. Then like this, uh, find out the factorization. Here you see, uh, first what? 5 into 5 you take 25, then 3 into 5, 15, 15 into 4, 16. So 60, 25 you take. Now the biggest number sign minus, then smallest number plus you take. Okay, then what you have to do is uh, here you see, divide 4x. Because coefficient x squared coefficient 4 is there, 4x here divide 4x. Now this one will go in 4 table 15. Correctly will go. Therefore, x minus you see x minus 15 into you can write the factor easily. X minus 15 into here uh, 4x plus 25. So easily we can do factorization. We have use this method, easily we can do factorization. So now uh, two factors make equal zero. Therefore, x is equal to fifteen, and four x is equal to minus twenty five. X is equal to minus twenty five by four is uh, rejected because time is not negative. It cannot negative. Rejected. Therefore, x is equal to 15. x is equal to 15 is correct. Now, the question you see what they ask find the time in which each tab can separately fill the tank. Okay. Now, time taken by the larger tab to fill the tank. Therefore, time taken by the larger tab. To fill the tank is equal to 15 hours. Same way, right? Time taken by the smaller tab to fill the tank equal to plus 10 hours, that is 25 hours. Okay. Right? Uh, time taken by the smaller tab to fill the tank equal to x plus uh, 10 hours, that is what we assumed. 
So plus 10 you have, you will get 10. Understand? So very, very important problem. Clear? So this uh, main thing is you have to convert into one hour. Okay. One hour you have to convert. Then uh, the total time is given. Clear? Both you add. You will get quadratic equation. And uh, easily you can do this factorization means you will get the answer. Next we will see 11th problem. Exercise 4.3 11th problem. This is also very very important problem. Read the problem. Sum of the areas of two square is sum of the area of two squares. You see one is small square, another one is big square. Okay. If the difference of the perimeter is 24 uh, meter given, find the sides of this two square. You have to find out sides of the two square. You so better you take the first square is smaller one, side is x you take, this one is y you take, two variable use for the time being, two variable use, then later on we can convert into one variable, Here it is easy, let the side of the first square be x meter you take and side of the second square b y meter you take okay now sum of the first condition you see sum of the areas of two square is sum of the area. So, area you have to find out. Area of what is the area of square? Side into side. That is x square. Then y square. Right. Therefore, by data, according to the problem, sum of the area of 2 square is, that means uh, x square plus y square equal to 468. x square plus y square equal to 468 that is area area of square is side into side that is x squared okay this is this square area x square this square area y squared both add means 468 that is given clear next if the difference of the perimeters what is the perimeter of a square 4 into side 4x for this 4x this one is 4y. So, while taking difference, you have to take bigger perimeter minus smaller perimeter. Bigger perimeter minus smaller perimeter. You have to write. That is very important. Clear? And, and the difference of the perimeter 24 meter. That means 4y. 4y minus 4x. 4y minus 4x is equal to 24. 24. Therefore, here you see the uh, 4 is the common factor. You divide it. 4 is the common factor. You divide it. That means uh, y minus x. Therefore, y minus x is equal to 6. 4 table divide means 6. Now, you have to change one uh, factor better uh, that y find out better y find out that for y is equal to 6 plus x this one you take uh, 2 this one you take it as 1 now put this y in 1 so put uh, y in in case of number 1 just to substitute the in case number 1 in place of y you write 6 plus x means x squared will be there plus 6 plus x whole square is equal to 6 is equal to 468 468 just to replace it in place of y replacing now what you have to do is uh, a plus b whole square formula of y that means x squared plus 36 plus 12x plus x squared equal to 468. Now x square plus x square, 2x square plus 12x 
plus 36 minus 468 equal to 0. Now 2x squared plus, uh, here how much? 12x, here minus is greater. 36 subtract 2, 3, 4 equal to 0. Okay. Now here also what 2 is common factor. 2 is common factor. So divide by 2. Throughout you divide by 2 means x square plus 6x minus 2. One time will go then 16. 6 times. Now easily we can factorize this one. You see. Minus uh, 216 plus 6 you have to get. So 216 factor 1 time 0 8 5 4 again uh, 2 7 3 table 9 3 3 so you uh, find out the factors uh, 2 16 you divide now you take uh, 2 into 2 4 4 into 3 12 12 1 factor you take then uh, 2 into 3 6 6 into 18 you take correctly will get here plus is that big Number plus small number minus it. So that uh, x squared coefficient is 1. So you can write it straight away. x plus 18 into x minus 12 equal to 0. So x plus 18 equal to 0 and x minus 12 equal to 0. For x is equal to minus 18 is rejected because side cannot be negative. This rejected. Therefore, x is equal to 12 is correct. But when x is equal to 12, you have to find out the uh, y. When x is equal to 12, find out y. Use uh, 1, that is uh, 12 squared plus y squared equal to 468. 468. Or better, uh, you can use uh, second equation also. Y only we have to find out. Okay, x is equal to twelve. Y easily we can find out. Y equal to six plus twelve. That is y equal to eighteen. Here use two equation number two. Okay, same answer only here also you will get. Okay, so y equal to eighteen. Therefore the Side of the two squares are one is uh, 12, another one is 18. Therefore, sides of the two squares are 1 is uh, 12 meter and another one is 18 meters. Unity of the right. that is very important with unit. Right. One is 12 meter, another one is 18 meter. So final answer is very important. Okay, you have to write the final answer. Then only you will get full mark. So very important that uh, verbal problem you have to do more practice. Okay, read the problem correctly. Then you have to frame the quadratic equation. Then factorization means you will get answer. Here the idea and the logic very important. Okay, how to correctly apply. And is solve it. Next, we will see nature of rules. Next topic nature of rules. So, here you have to consider the quadratic equation. You know, quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0 and a naught equal to 0. Okay, for this, you know the rules. How to find out the rules? By quadratic formula, what is the quadratic formula? Minus b plus or minus root over b squared minus 4ac, 4 divided by 2a. Now, the same formula I am going to write like this minus b plus or minus root over d by 2a, where d is b squared minus 4ac b square minus 4bc. So here d is called d 
डिस्क्रिमिनेंट Here D is called discriminant. Okay, so here you see this formula, this quadratic formula, we reduced, we reduced here into minus b plus or minus root over d. Okay, here we are writing a d as b squared minus four d. This is called discriminant. Okay, we reduce the formula here. Okay, that is very important. So here d is called discriminant. If this d is, if d is greater than zero, so this d may be greater than zero, less than zero, or equal to zero. Clear? There are uh, three cases. Okay. Now you have to find out the d value. Means if uh, d is greater than zero, then then the roots are. real and distinct the so roots are real and distinct distinct means unequal bracket right, like mean, unequal okay the roots are real and distinct that is unequal Next condition is d may be zero also. Okay, d may be zero. When d is zero, then the roots are real and equal. Real and equal. That is very important. Clear? Yeah. One more is also there. That is d less than zero. D less than zero negative, then the roots are not real. The roots are not real. Not real means it is imaginary. Where yeah, roots are imaginary, we will study in higher class. So now just to remember these three called nature of the roots. Nature of the roots means how the roots are. Okay. Then that only you are telling that is the uh, roots are real and distinct, roots are real and equal, and roots are not real. Okay, these three possibility only called nature of the roots. Nature of the roots. Okay, so using this, we are going to see some problems. Now we will see some problems. Exercise 4.4. First problem you see. Find the nature of the roots of the following quadratic equations. If the real roots exist, then find them. You see the first problem: two x squared minus three x plus five equal to zero. So here, what is a? Two. What is b? Minus three. And what is c? Five. So here you have to calculate first d. Discriminant. D is called discriminant. Discriminant you have to find out. Discriminant is uh, you know b square. Minus four AC, b squared minus four AC. Now you substitute the value that is b equal to what is uh, b minus three squared minus four into a is two, c is five. So that is equal to nine. Nine minus here uh, eight, eight into five, forty. So minus thirty one is negative. Minus thirty one is negative. Okay, when d is zero, then the roots are not real. D is uh, negative. That is, g is less than zero. Therefore, d is less than zero. This gives uh, roots are not real. Roots are not real. Oh, sorry. The roots are not real. Okay, so like this, you have to find out first to find out d discriminant. Then you have to check whether it is positive or negative or zero. Okay, so use this uh, conditions. Here, use this uh, formula. Then uh, 
you will get the answer that is nature of the roots the problem is you have to find the nature of the root therefore the nature of the root is for this quadratic equation is roots are not real the next two problem you see 3x square minus 4 root 3x plus 4 equal to 0 here what is a 3 what is b minus 4 root 3 and c is 4 c is 4 remember only how to write coefficients don't write x and all only write coefficients now first to find out discriminant that is d equal to you know the formula b square minus 4 ac so minus uh, 4 root 3 the whole square you put bracket always uh, substitute the value within bracket generally simplification will be easy now you see minus square means plus 4 square means 16 into root 3 square means 3 16 into 3 minus here 12 into 4 so what you will get uh, 48 minus 48 so whole square minus square means uh, plus 4 square is 16 into root 3 square is 3 16 into 3 same way 4 into 3 12 into 4 so this is 48 this is also 48 equal to 0 when d is equal to 0 what is the nature of the root roots are real and equal real and equal when the roots are real, you have to find out the roots. That is the problem. Okay, when the roots are real, you have to find out the roots. That means uh, x is equal to minus b plus or minus root over d by 2a. This formula I use. Okay, it will be easy. Now minus b plus or minus b. B is what? Minus of minus 4 root 3. Then plus or minus d is 0 by 2 into 3. 2 into 3. Now minus or minus plus here. Minus or minus plus 4 root 3 by 2 into 3, 6. Now we can uh, simplify this 2 times 3. So 2 root 3 by 3. So when 2 root 3 by 3, that is a uh, equal roots. That means you can write uh, the roots are equal. That is uh, 2 root 3 by 3. And again you write same thing. Or equal roots. Or equal roots. Of given quadratic equation. Because quadratic equation that is has two roots. So here we are getting uh, what 2 root 3 by 3. That means same thing you write one more time. Say equal roots. Okay. You see here a equal to what 2 b equal to minus 6, c equal to 3. So what is d? b squared minus 4ac. So here the b is minus 6 the whole square, minus 4 into 2 into 3. So here 36 minus 8 into 3, 24. That is 12. So d is greater than 0. 12 is positive. 12 is positive. So when b is greater than 0, then the roots are real and unequal or distinct, real and distinct roots. Therefore, uh, you have to find out the x value. So x is equal to minus b plus or minus root over d by 2a. Now replace it. Uh, what is b minus of minus 6 plus or minus root over 12 by 2 into 2 so that is equal to minus into minus plus 6 plus or minus this 12 how will you write 4 into 3 by 4 that is equal to you should know how to split okay here you see root 4 2 then root 3 you write as it is by 4 now again here 2 is common 2 
two you take common means uh, three time will go three root three by four so that is nothing but two that is equal to three plus or minus root three by two okay therefore the roots are one root you take a uh, plus three plus root three by two and another one you take minus three by two. Okay. Therefore, the roots are three plus root three by two and three minus root three by two. Okay. So same type of problem I will give homework. Okay. You do homework for better practice.